Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and pressing record seemed to have taken me all the way down to the south. That's fine, I'll just work my way back up. Anyhow, it's episode two of me and Adam's Race to the Iron Throne, although it's a single player game, and he'll be challenging based on the amount of years it takes me to get my family as leaders of the Iron Throne. And what I'm really hoping for is to outlive Mace, he's 44, I'm 43, so I'm already winning. Uh, and I want to have claims on Uplands and Old Town by the time Mace passes. Willis is almost certainly going to institute uh, limited realm authority, just to make himself more popular when he comes into power. And that'll let me wage war freely with my allies against Old Town. And then once Randall passes, Dickon will use... Oh, that's too bad. Uh, Dickon will use his wife's claim on Cockleswent. And because we'll have these two counties here, we should have a pretty good troop count uh, advantage over Cockleswent. Now it's just up to Dickon to do some impregnating. I may hang on to uh, Ellen a bit and throw her into a matrilineal marriage just to ensure the line. So, we're playing the waiting game. Got minor titles grantable. Uh, bodyguard. Sure. He's unlanded and will remain that way. Because I can go in here and say, hey, I'd love to give you some land. But I don't have any. And part of that's good because it keeps my future heir uh, in my clutches. And what that means is I can spend freely on his education. You never know what your AI son is going to do and just throw out, like, a crappy education for the guy you're going to be playing in 30 years. Ah, uh, so Lise Florin died. Hold up. Ellen? No? Uh, that was worth checking out. He's probably upset because I didn't support him during his war. But yeah, I've, I've got this really not good justice here. Oh, wait, no, he's improved. Well, alright. Oh, that's pretty good. So, 14.24% per year. Figure I've got about 20 years tops of Randall. That should get me uplands in Old Town. Or, you know, strong claims therein. We've got decent levies. As does Ashford. As does Tumbleton. So I figure if war is to break out, I'll put all my troops in Hunt Hills or Somerset. Uh, what? Oh, jeez. So now my daughter wishes to kill my heir. You sneaky, sneaky, sneaky daughter. I'm not going to send Dickon into hiding. Excellent. A huge amount of gold. So... Is she not... 
going to end her plot. Huh, she ended her plot. Good. All right. Master Layton. Uh, I can always use another friend. Let's check my friends out. See how many of them could give me. Oh. Uh, I guess uh, my other friend died. It happens. Master Layton, Commander of the Reach. Master of Nettleton. He's a. Yeah. Doesn't help. Oh well. But yeah, I think Hunt Hills, they'd be unlikely to attack me in the hills while I muster my forces from Cockleswent and Tumbleton and all throughout my domain. Oh, I can hold a Tony! Spend all my money! Lord Aegon of Essos. Yeah, you get to be important too. So, the Aegon. Aegon is dead. Let's see what Mace thinks. Yeah, he doesn't feel too strongly one way or the other. Mummer's Dragon it is. Lord Randall, the realm is in a state of war, and as such, I, as your liege paramount, command that you provide men to support my armies. Regards. Mace of House Tyrell. Alright, so support the throne means... Randall will join King Stannis. Um... Yeah, I'm going to back my liege here. He's neutral. I'm neutral. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't go for the whole sweet Robin thing, because he, he always dies. And we got Harold. You want to marry Ellen? Alright, so we can do that. That wouldn't be bad. I'd really like to see you knock her up, dude. He doesn't have anything... They're not that old. 22 and 16. Um, yeah, at the risk of extinguishing House Tarly, I will marry Ellen off to Harold. Oh, no, I didn't think so. Send it! Alright, he immediately goes to war. And he accepts my suggestion. But how strongly does he accept it? Not that strongly. Alright, so we got the last one married off. We've got... Uh, yeah, lose the prestige. And... Alright, and we're at war against Tyrion. The Imp. How is Stannis' war going? He's winning. And he won. Aegon's in prison. To be expected. All kinds of usurpations of titles. Okay. Barth Catherine hanged. People usurping. Wars going on. Lord Commander Wallace. Wallace Massey. 27 years old. That's interesting. And he's got all the people we know, Bowen Marsh, Samuel Tarley, Jack Bulwer, Edison Tollett, Morris Westford, Alistair Thorne, Janos Slint, Clytus Byam, Ronald, Watt, Allen, Jarman. Yeah. A lot of these guys are alive. That's weird. Jorah. Huh. Okay. Oop, now I'm sucking up to Mace. Hey Mace, ain't I doing a good job? 
Ain't I? So they never found old, uh... Old Arya there. And John's at the Shadow Tower. Alright, so... Edmund is repeating what I say. It's a bit flattering, really. So we fall into this nothing is happening phase, which, you know, once we get Uplands and Old Town claimed, we can start doing some work. And I've got some money built up, which is always good. What's the situation with this? Seriously, 23, nothing yet? It's always a bit disconcerting. A rumor about a spy sneaking around in my own castle was confirmed this morning when I caught him red-handed. I could gain piety. I could gain martial. Or I could gain strong. I thought he was already strong. Yes, yeah, muy fuerte. Uh, we'll gain some martial. Behead him. No spies in my castle. Seems like a randomly thing to do, even though I'm not role playing because I'm in a race. A race against Adam. Oh no! Not Samwell! Oh man, they're dying like crazy. Dennis Malister. Okay. Yeah, Sam died. So now I'm truly down to one son. He doesn't seem to be making uh, many appearances in his wife's bedchambers. But, yeah, only 23. He's still got time. And then even if uh, she reaches old maidhood, there'll still be time for Dickon to get some somebody pregnant. The war against Lord Paramount Tyrion and the Imp is going majestically in favor of Lord Paramount Mace of the Reach. Job well done. What is this war? It's just a claim on Greenfield? This? Okay. That's neat. Increase the time! Knock up your wife! Alright. Look, at least he won some sort of war. As did Mace. Alright, so she's kind of at war against Stannis, but not really. She's just like, I'm at war with you! It's like, okay. But I'm also at war with other people. And I'll deal with you when I'm done with them. And Stannis is just picking up territory in the meantime. Driving up that war score. The White Walker! Did the wall fall? Oh, the wall fell. The wall has fallen, according to the ragged bands of surviving Black Brothers. Swarms of others defeated the wildlings and overwhelmed the defenses of the Night's Watch, breaking the great icy barrier meant to protect the realms of men. May the gods protect us. Alright, so now he's at war with... Whew. Look there, White Walker. Um, I'd love to help, but... You know, it's really not... We're all the way down in the Reach. We don't have the men to... To do... What needs to be done here. 
but man, everything fell. That's wild. Is John? John Snow is a commander of the North. He is now interesting. Okay, so he is a black brother, but now he falls under Rob because the wall fell. Makes sense. I guess. So that's King Rob's War. Uh, Lord Stevron of the Crossing agreed to become a vassal of the Trident. Uh, yeah, here's where I suck up to my liege. Only at 8. Let's bring me to, what, 13? There we go. The High Lordship of North Clans. Alright. Well, it seems Rob's having a hard time of it now. And at least he's going, uh, going bananas over there in Essos. Stannis hanged a buckler. Don't know why. And Lord Commander Jon Snow. Lord Commander in Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. He has 58 men. Well, I don't think he'll last long. Yeah, when the wall falls, things invariably go badly for the brothers. And uh, High Septon died. Like they do. Dickin. Oh, uh, Dickin. I don't know why he doesn't seem to be in a hurry. We get more gold. That's always good. Okay, so. Another high septon. How goes your war up here? I see Winter is no longer in control here. More gold. Castle Windworm. We almost have enough. Well, you know what? I want to check on the white book. Let's do that. Who is currently there? Preston Greenfield, Lord Commander Sandor the Hound, Sir Mandon Moore, Sir Marin Trant, Sir Belen Swan, Sir Aerys Oakart, and Reynard Flowers. What happened to Loris? Lord Loris, the Knight of Flowers, has been removed from the Kingsguard. Ah, we don't see that every day. And Sandor is guarding Stannis. Ah, uh, fun stuff. We back at war with Tyrion? Yeah. Okay. It's not the, the grandson I was looking for, but... You know, it's better than nothing. We got Sabrina Tarly, and she's weak. Crap. Um, yeah, all right. Keep working at it, kid. Okay. Died in battle against Lord Manfred of Blackhaven. Princess Shireen. Queen Shireen and King Edric Storm. Yeah, I usually get married. And their heir, Daenerys Targaryen. Queen Shireen. Oh, Iron King Balin. Wonder what the peace offer was. It was leave me alone. That's what the peace offer was. Other slain by Lord Commander John of the Night's Watch in personal combat. What does a White Walker thing give him? Dual skill estimate plus four? Eh. 
Cool. John is a slayer. All right, yeah, we're getting tons of money. I think. I think we could improve Horn Hill a bit. So right now it doesn't have anything. So. I mean, we gotta bring the fort level up, right? It's it's seven. That's pretty good. Um, it's a lot. Let's do private farms. And there's my oversea construction. And then there, improve holding, pacify province, improve defenses. Oversee construction. Yeah, let's have you do that. So yeah, that'll increase the amount of troops I can call. Always good. Um, yeah, I wish I could help, but... like. We're not in the war. My liege is not in the war. I can't... can't do it. I'm sorry. And now I gotta send for a maester from the Citadel, and that's gonna cost me six gold. Quentin needs a wife. We don't have anyone for him. So... We'll send for a debutante. Honestly, I don't, I don't really care. Ah, uh, ah. Alright, well, that kind of sucks. But, at least he'll get married. Send it. Yeah, I know, because he's dead. And who is it? Mr. Benjen. Good. Oh, man, he's terrible. Just terrible. And she's not pregnant again, already 26. Um, okay. I'm starting to think my daughter-in-law might fancy me. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, I would like her to get pregnant, but I don't... Uh, 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 uh. It's not appropriate. Uh. I mean, if it had gone completely unnoticed, it would all have been good, right? But that's too much of a risk. Alright, so Leo of Cockles went and died means we don't have any sort of alliance anymore. We'll work on getting that back. Wise choice. Alright, so we got the Cockles Went Alliance back, and when Randall dies, we'll be able to go ahead and not have an alliance or a non-aggression pact anymore and we'll be able to invade there, which is the whole point. Yeah. So, this guy would do something. I have a feeling I'm going to be playing as Sabrina in the future. White Walk... Dude, John just yeah John Snow killing everybody I like it uh eh, again a diplomacy wonder if that won't fulfill my ambition because I lost a diplomacy and I just gained one back. 
Things would be simpler if everyone was a Reachman. Alright, so I have fulfilled my well, ambition there. And I think we're going to leave it there for this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.